My name's uh, Bob, and uh, I'm not a public speaker, so don't put up with me. But what I would like to do is, a lot of people are talking about war, and I think we should be talking more about peace and harmony and how we can get around avoiding war. I am a Vietnam vet. I have three purple hearts, two silver stars, three bronze stars, and I know what war is like up close and ugly. Uh, for those who have never been there, or for those who are support troops, the best thing I can tell you about war is when it's over, it's a heck of a lot better than when it actually happened. It's, it's difficult sometimes for me to discuss this, but when you look someone dead in the eye and you take their life, it is not a pleasant thought. When you see your friends die, you will forever hear taps and it will always bring a tear to your eye. Uh, one of the things I can recall was, and I see this face every night, is the first man I shot and it was the first shot I ever took in anger, and I blew the back of his head off. Every night, I see that face. Every night. It's been 43 years. It is not, a, it's not an easy thing to go through, especially when the second, the third, the fourth, all the way to 21, that I know I personally took out of this world. It, it, it's, a, it's an extraordinarily difficult thing to discuss. And for those of you who haven't been there and have seen movies and news reports, you cannot imagine the smell of death, diesel, napalm, hearing kids cry, watching people burn. It is a horrid, horrid thing. It should be, war should be the absolute last thing we ever do. There is always a better option. There is always something that we can do to concede just a little bit and not be so demanding. And these people who pull out their swords and demand war, let them go fight it. Let them see what it's like. In hand-to-hand -hand combat, you don't have much of a choice. Your adrenaline is flying. I was taught to kill, and I was damn good at what I did. After, after my tour as an infantryman, I was offered the chance to re-enlist, and I said I would, but only if I could become a medic. I was sick of taking lives, so I decided I would save some. After I got out of Fort Sam Houston, at graduating uh, out, of the, out of medical school, or not medical school, but medic school, I thought I was going to have a nice easy job in a hospital. I'd already done two tours in Nam. And much to my chagrin, medics were a target, so they said, guess what, you're going back. So I wound up doing four tours. Two, killing people, two, saving people, to include Vietnamese. My, my former enemies, or at that time still my enemies, I had to fix them up too. After I watched my friends and my buddies in green try to take them out of this world. Now for everybody who stands around and thinks that war might be an option, I might suggest that you try it. it really sucks and you live with it for the rest of your life and all of these people who are sitting around in Congress and uh, right-wing people who are sitting there saying oh this is such a wonderful thing we're saving democracy you're not saving democracy you're taking lives and by taking lives you are adding nothing but you're adding to the equation 
more lives taken and taken and taken and people don't understand because they haven't been there they haven't seen it they haven't smelled it it is a an absolutely horrific thing my last purple heart i was thinking about coming home one of my enemies came out of the bamboo not five feet away from me i didn't even see him and he hit me with a machete and literally virtually took my head off it was falling back. I unloaded a 30-round magazine through this guy. If it wasn't for our medic sticking his pinky in my carotid, I wouldn't be here today. And it was, to me, it was an epiphany. It is much better to save lives, to find better options than war. So, basically, that's pretty much my story. But if you ever have a chance, if you ever talk to people who think that war might be good, you can tell them that you met a guy that says if for crap. It is not a pleasant option. I thank you all.